it all comes from just listening to music, I guess. You know, it doesn't have to be Oasis. It doesn't have to be the Stone Roses. It could be like any type of uh, music by any rare bands that, that were to come out from the uh, the Manchester music scene, like Northside, for example. Um, I sort of take inspiration from them. Um, the, the the Lars, I, I take a lot of inspiration uh, too. Tell me about like what. Let, let, let's talk about what you're listening to right now. Yeah. Because um, I always find that interesting with, with with musicians with the type of music that they are producing to to kind of get get into the head of what they're listening to. So tell me what you're listening to now, and and tell me tell me why you like it. I always find that quite interesting. Well, what I'm listening to now, um, I'd say recently uh, o- Oasis, um, as they've now got back to, got them back together. Mm. So um, I've been listening to a lot of Oasis um, recently, and uh, the reason why I like them is because um, that they're, they're the only bands, they're the only band out there that were, you know, that that that, that only inspired, you know, like not only just me as a musician, but to everyone out there. Um, and a whole generation as well. Oh yeah, you know, the like younger Brit- generation. If you remember like Britpop and all of that, you know, from the. Yeah. I mean, I'm old enough to to to, to actually remember it first time round, mm. um, and that whole kind of suddenly Britain was cool again, and suddenly it was kind of like that that thing that we had in the '60s kind of almost came back again. Yeah, you know, Brit- Britain was cool, and it, it, it musically it was on the mm. uh, on 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 the kind of the the front stage. Yeah. What would you call the type of music that you make? And I I ask that question because it is a mix of quite a lot of different um flavors, but it sounds to my eyes anyway as a young lad from Rochdale, it, it sounds very very northern. Yeah. Is that a purposeful thing? Yeah, yeah, you can say that. Um the type of genre that I play uh, would be uh, Brit, um, indie rock, uh, Brit pop, uh, and a, a bit of modern music as well. Today's day and age of modern music, I'd say about an inch of it. Mm. And um, oh god, there's 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 a lot. Um, yeah, I, I guess let's just say indie rock and Brit pop. Yeah, what I just play now. You, we were just talking off air a moment ago. Obviously, you you have Asian heritage. Yeah. Um, half Pakistani, half Indian. Well, I, well, quarter with, Indian. Well, well, quarter Indian and Kenyan. So yeah, yep. you know, um, lethal combination. How did that kind of like in, in terms of in terms of growing up? Did you? And it's okay if you didn't. I always say this to big guests that come in the studio. <laughs> Don't feel that you have to say it. But I'm always interested if if there was any Asian musical influences. And if there wasn't, that's fine. But I'm just interested to know if, if there was any growing up. Uh, well, t- to be honest, no, not really. Mm. I've, I've always stuck around with listening to pop music, you know, when I was a kid. And um, obviously when I started picking up the guitar... And I started getting the hang of it. Um, I started uh, listening to different types of um, different types of uh, music, um, mainly rock. And that's pretty much how that's pretty much how I got into Oasis and the Roses and the Lars and all that, the Beatles. Mm. So uh, yeah. So you you've got quite an eclectic kind of uh, British sensibility of music. Obviously, not only have you got the 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 more modern stuff like your Oasis and the Lars and all of that, but yeah. also the older stuff like you mentioned the Beatles, yeah, um, and 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 stuff like that. How do you feel that that kind of influenced the music that that you make now? Um, I mean, are there are there elements that you take from them when you're creating your own sound? Yeah, yeah, I do. Lots of elements. Uh, definitely from listening to the Beatles, um, harmonising and whatnot, I, I take a lot from from them, and um, like I, I guess yeah, let's just say harmonising. You know, um, the other stuff I take, you know, like the the elements of like playing guitar, bass, uh, vocals, um, all from the um, indie stuff I listen to. So yeah, let's have a performance. What are you gonna do for us first? Um, 
I'm going to do uh, an acoustic version of Better Dreams. Fab, which is the track and... that we just heard. Yep. Cool. And uh, yeah. The mics are yours. Take it away. Brilliant. Neil, you uh, have your camera, well, have Zenny's camera in hand. So this will, I'm assuming, make its way onto Zenny's um, uh, socials as well at some point. Yep. So people can, can catch up with the videos later yep. once he gets them posted. But take it away. Thank you very much. so bold to ask how do you sleep behind the mask the world's waiting gotta be myself i'm sick of standing here on the shelf i feel tired i feel all alone my heart's shaking in the soul i own my time's up and i'm sailing away don't want to leave what's left of today Bad dreams can't hurt me I'm gonna pick up the pieces and then you'll see I'm ready to fall, I'm ready to call I'm gonna make it today before I break the walls And time seems like a small place But I'm gonna get out and make more space And life feels just so extreme I'm gonna rest my strength and sleep with better dreams tonight Sleep with better dreams tonight The colors changing in the pouring rain Oh my lord, take away my pain The sun shines making its own way Don't want to leave what's left of today Cause bad dreams can't hurt me I'm gonna pick up the pieces and then you'll see I'm ready to fall, I'm ready to call I'm gonna make it today before I break the walls And time seems like a small place But I'm gonna get out and make more space And life feels just so extreme I'm gonna rest my strength and sleep with better dreams tonight Sleep with better dreams tonight dreams can't hurt me I'm gonna pick up the pieces and then you'll see I'm ready to fall, I'm ready to call, I'm gonna make it today before I break the walls and time seems like a small place but I'm gonna get out and make more space and life feels just so extreme, I'm gonna rest my strength and sleep with better dreams tonight with better dreams tonight sleep with better dreams tonight sleep with better dreams tonight sleep with better dreams Absolutely. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank Honestly, you very much. I, I absolutely love that song. Thank you. Thank you very right. much. Right. In the studio this evening, we have the wonderful Zenny Books, who has just performed his uh, an acoustic version of his single, Better Dreams. How's that going? How's it been received? I mean, you've got 6,000 streams of it so far. 
people that have heard it, what have they said to you? What kind of feedback have you had so far? Well, when I released Better Dreams last year, I had a lot of people on TikTok saying, oh, wow, it's an incredible song, this and that. It's unreal. It's so great. And um, I've I've uh, had it written on articles, you know. Um, I, I even tried sending it out onto radio stations, you know, some that are on uh, Radio 1, didn't get any, any feed, you know, any, yeah. anything back from them. So the struggle is real. The graft the is real. It's very real. It's very, very, you know. And it's, I mean, it's understandable, obviously, because you, you, you're young, you're, you're very young, you're starting out. Um, what's the... What's the dream? What's the dream for Zenibox? What 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 do you, what do you want to see? <laughs> do you know what? Funny you should say that. You know, funny funny you mentioned about um, you know dreams and whatnot, because a- around a couple months, well, a few months back actually, several months back, uh, I've had a dream about playing uh, an acoustic set, literally no band, no drums, no bass, just just me on guitar and a mic, and I dreamed about playing at Wembley, supporting Paul Weller. And the crowd was just going nuts at me. Mm. And I must have played some cover or some one of my songs, probably Better Dreams or something. And just the crowd went just mental. And, you know, that was like one of the the only and the only best dreams I've ever had. Yeah. As a you know, as a musician. Insane. Um so you've got this EP now. Yeah. Uh which is called In My Vision. Yeah. Uh and it is it is it's beautiful. I love it. it it's gorgeous. Thank you. Um I'm going to play Fall Away later as well. Yeah. Um so <clears throat> tell me about creating the EP. How did it come about? I mean, was it a case that you were just making music and you had a couple of tracks and you thought I'm going to put this in an EP or did you sit down and say I'm going to create an EP and then kind of fashion the songs around that? How did you go about it? So, after the release of Better Dreams, um I had the idea to uh, to make an EP. So, yeah, I did sit down and just, you know, wrote, you know, as as much songs as I, as I can, mm. you know, and uh, some good ones as well. And but they're all good, I think. Yeah. You've, been, uh, you've been unfair to yourself. There. They are <laughs> all good. Um, and and I, w- I was saying this to you before, especially with Be- Better Dreams. It's, yeah. it's a song that when I listen to it, I can't help but <clears throat> smile. Uh, it, it's a real feel-good, kind of on-the-other-side-of-the-mountain kind of song. It's a brilliant, brilliant song. I love it. Um, so t- tell me about what your what what was your intention for the EP? Like, Did you have a kind of... Um, like a, a theme or, a, or or an idea in mind for what you wanted it to be? Well... I feel as though since every artist and band, you know, is doing this, you know, nowadays, I, I feel I feel as though that it's the best start, you know, to uh, to my music career, you know, uh, best off to release an EP first, and then once you start, you know, getting people to feel the vibe, then it's time to start making an album. So um, that's that's sort of. Um, There's kind of a stepping stone. Yeah, a stepping stone. You could say that, and. Um, yeah. Are, are you? Are, are you? Do you have ideas of an album? Have you, do you know what your kind of what you what you would like that first album to be? Well, um, <clears throat> I've not got any ideas yet for an album. Um, I mean, you've only just dropped the EP, so that's uh, fair. Yeah, I've only dropped the EP, um, so. I don't really have any um, any ideas for an album yet. I mean, I mean, I do know that. I want to start. Um, I want to put in at least eleven to twelve songs, mm. so I'll make it as an LP. And yeah. And tell me about kind of like, did you always know that you wanted to be a performer, a singer songwriter, an artist? Did you always know that that was what you wanted to do with life? Oh yeah, definitely. You know, I've I've always wanted to. Um, I've always wanted to do like you know a lot of stuff for TV at first. And um, then, obviously, as the years go by and I started, you know, playing the guitar, you know, um, this became sort of like an accident. <laughs> Music kind of accidentally yeah. took over. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, in a good way. So, yeah, I've always wanted to um, to sort of... Um, Tell me about yeah. the first time you... The first time you kind of 
performed in front of a group of people. What, yeah. what was that like? So it was an open mic night and it was in Ramsbottom and it was in a pub called, I think it was uh, the old Irwell Brewery or was it just uh, the Irwell Brewery? I, I can't remember. Mm. And um, I went there for the first time and um, I've introduced uh, everyone... Uh, I've I've, in, I've introduced myself to everyone, and um, I played about three songs, um, three classics, uh, two Oasis and one Beatles. So it was Wonderwall, Don't Look Back in Anger. No, it was Don't Look Back in Anger first, then Here Comes the Sun, and then Wonderwall. So uh, yeah, it was my first ever time, and that's pretty much how I, I mean, came you picked confidence. you picked a good lineup of tracks. I've got to say, yeah, <laughs> you can't go wrong with those. To be fair, no. um, was there any? Was there any kind of, I don't want to say fear, fear is a strong word, but like nerves the first time you stepped out on stage? Or were you just like, yeah, this is what this is what I do? Nope, never felt any nerves whatsoever. I don't know how he does it. Like, I couldn't, I literally couldn't do it. But... I mean, I may be on, if I may be honest, you know, I did feel a, a, a little bit nervous, you know, a little nervous um, going, you know, on stage to mm. an open mic night. But when, when, once I started playing, you know, it sort of just goes you down. So, you know. In fact, actually, um, that open mic night wasn't the first actual thing that I um, uh, did. Um, I uh, played a lot of stuff in school. So um, mm. I started off um, performing to everyone in, in school, just me and a guitar and a mic. And I, I remember playing just Wonderwall. So, um, so how old were you when you started playing the guitar then? 13. Right, so you've been doing it a long time. Yeah, say about um, five five years now. Let's have another performance. What are you going to do for us next? This is um, this next song. Um, this is um, a, a little sneak peek for everyone. Um, this one is called "If I Fade." If I Fade. Yep. Uh, this is the one that's dropping on 25th of October, yeah? Yep. Fantastic. Uh, Zenny Bucks on the mics. This is If I Fade. Yep. Bismillah. Sorry, can I just get my phone out for one Of course second? you can, just, go for uh, it. Just get the lyrics up in case. Of course you can. You don't, you, you, you don't want to take the risk. No, no, I don't want to take the risk, that, <laughs> risk at all. Got to watch out. Uh, if I Fade... This is the wonderful Zenny Bucks in the studio, uh, and this track is going to be dropping on the 25th of this month. All right, here we go. Take it away. What's going on inside your head? You're feeling lost as you lay in bed You don't have a reason to tell me why I'm on the edge of the ground, it's life or I die I guess all this time it was just a dream And slowly it caused to be real and extreme There's not much time to find time for ourselves Nothing lasts forever till it hits to twelve I don't feel no change around me But I'm glad it's good to be free Maybe it's time to accept reality Or maybe we fight for our mentality Oh, I don't like where I've been placed I just want my own therapeutic space And no one ever feels the same It cuts me down like the end of a blade And I know you wouldn't care Even if I fade So 
what will it be? Is it you or me? Oh, let's go back as we sail the sea. There's not much time to find time for ourselves. Nothing lasts forever till it hits this well. I don't feel no change around me. But I'm glad it's good to be free. Maybe it's time to accept reality. Or maybe we fight for our mentality. Oh, I don't like where I've been placed. I just want my own therapeutic space. And no one ever feels the same. It cuts me down like the end of a blade. And I know you wouldn't care. Even if I fade ooh, ooh, ooh. Even if I fade But I know who I really am And I know you wouldn't care Even if I fade 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 Brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. That was the sound of Zenny Books in the studio with If I Fade. And that is coming out on the 25th of October. It's available on all of the usual places, I'm assuming. So yeah. Apple and... Yep. Spotify all, all and that. Deezer yeah. and all of those places. I sort of messed up a little bit there. <laughs> well, it wasn't noticeable. Why? What did you do? Well, that there was there was a lyric right uh, mm. in the first um, yeah, the first verse where it says um, af- after um, I'm on the edge of the ground, it's life or I die. And then there's I guess all this time was just a dream, and slowly it caused to be real and extreme. I pray to God that I don't fall to the ground. Oh bloody hell! <laughs> messed that one bit up. But you know what? Is 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 testament to how good a performer you are that nobody yeah. realised. I mean, yeah, this is my first ever time performing it on radio, so you know, it's, it's better than nothing. It's insane. It's, it's insane. Yeah. Um, so. You are uh, absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much uh, for that. We're going to go to one more track and then we'll come back, continue chatting. Uh, Zenny Books is in the studio. Uh, this is uh, this one is Fall Away. Tell me a little bit about what Fall Away is actually about. So Fall Away is about um, not falling away into what people tend to do nowadays. You know, nowadays and age, it's all about money and greed and, you know, doing, like, drugs. And there's just, you know, there's just lots of bad people Mm. out there, bad things that are happening, especially on television. You know, it's not the same anymore. Here we go. This is the sound of Zenny Books.
Absolutely phenomenal sound of Zenny Books. That one is Fall Away. Um, and Zenny's in the studio with us uh, this evening. Uh, not much time uh, left uh, of this hour. Um, but it's been amazing having you in. Are you, I mean, how regularly are you like gigging and stuff like that? Because I know you, you, you're doing your best to get out there. So, yeah. How regularly are you are you performing? Well, I I was performing in pubs, you know, mm. um, a lot a lot of them last year. So it's just mainly pubs and bars and restaurants and right now, so it's it's very very difficult at the moment, very difficult. Yeah, have so, you got anything coming up? Uh, I do. Yeah, okay. um, they're soon to be announced. Okay. So yeah. if people want to um, keep up to date with when and where you're performing and keep keep up to date with your music and stuff where do you want to tell people about your socials and stuff yeah. um instagram um tiktok and uh youtube cool. i don't use twitter anymore now yeah i'll turn into a play playground of cancel culture <laughs> tell me about it dustbin fire mm. um and it's just zenny books on all of them isn't it yeah yeah cool yeah. so uh those of you that don't know zenny is spelled z-e-n-y books is b-u-x yep. um and you can find him on, on all of the uh usual uh places it's been wonderful having you in the studio you are genuinely uh, an inspiration, Zenny. I don't think uh, I, I don't think you you quite appreciate that. No. Uh, I don't think you quite know uh, just how good you are, um, and that's always. Uh, I mean, me, me and Neats were just saying that that's always one of those things that you you appreciate in yeah. an artist when you mm -hmm. get somebody in and you see somebody and you think they really don't know how good they yeah. are. <laughs> um, we're like our, our jaws are like what? yeah um so genuinely whether it's your songwriting whether it's your uh music production i mean i said to you last night um because we have to do the login for the music 
uh, and I messaged you last night, and yeah. I said, who produced it? Who did the music? And you're like, well, I, I did the music. I mean, obviously, it was finished off slightly by somebody, but to, to think that you did that yourself, and you're 19, um, <laughs> is, just, is, is just phenomenal. <laughs> One thing we didn't go into is that you are autistic. We, yeah. we, we could have talked a little bit more about that, yeah. had we have known, but we will have you back. Um, and we will talk more about that as well. Yeah. Um, and, and that kind of thing. Um, but it's been amazing having you in. Is there one last piece you can do for us? Yeah. Before we before we, we, we cut you loose? Yeah. This is a um a cover this time. Okay, and what, what, what is it you're covering for us? Well, in of, in honor of uh, Oasis um coming back, this next one is called Stop Crying Your Heart Out. Oh beautiful. Take it away. Hold up Hold on Don't be scared You'll never change what's been and gone May your smile Shine on. Don't be scared Your destiny may keep you warm Cause all of the stars are fading away Just try not to worry You'll see them someday Just take what you need And be on your way And stop crying your heart out Get up Come on Why are you scared? Never change what's been and gone Cause all of the stars are faded away Just try not to worry You'll see them someday Just take what you need And be on your way And stop crying your heart out Try not to worry, you'll see them someday. Just take what you need and be on your way and stop crying your heart out. Where all of the stars were fading away, just try not to worry, you'll see us someday. Just take what you need and be on your way and stop crying your heart out. 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 Thank Absolutely you very much. gorgeous. 